My name's Ashley from the Glacier Children's Museum, and guess what? Today is story time. I'm gonna be reading one of my favorite books, Dr. Seuss's Horse Museum. Do you know what sound a horse makes? Awesome. Now, can you gallop like a horse? Great job. Dr. Seuss is going to show us all kinds of different horses. Are you ready? Here we go. Dr. Seuss's Horse Museum. Art, what's it all about? This is what art is about. Art is when an artist looks at something, like a horse for instance, and they see something in that horse that excites them. So they do something about it. They tell you about it in any number of ways. Artists have been excited by horses for as long as there have been artists. But what an artist tells us about horses and how they tell us about horses is different for every artist. What an artist sees in a horse depends on many different things. Their background, likes and dislikes, you name it. So come with me. Let's look at how different artists have seen horses. Maybe we can find some new ways of looking at them ourselves. T look it over, think it over, talk it over. Some artists look at a horse and find color. Other artists are interested in shape. These artists looked and they saw speed. Of course, some artists looked at horses and wanted to paint them just as they appeared in the natural world, doing things that horses really do. We call this kind of art realistic. Then we come to what people call modern art. Some people call this crazy stuff. Maybe they're right, maybe they're wrong. But these are paintings, drawings, and sculptures that show what certain artists imagined when they looked at a horse. So please look at them very carefully. There are lots of ways of looking at things. Maybe these pictures will have something to tell you. Surrealism is a way of looking at things, including horses, that draws on, in part, an artist's dreams. Dreams can be very strange, and so can surrealist art. Expressionism is an art style that uses exaggerated colors and brush strokes to show the emotion an artist wants us to feel when we look at something. What do you feel when you look at this? Abstract art can have a subject, but it doesn't need one. It uses color and shape to create a visual experience. These abstract images do have subjects, horses and riders, of course. This artist used a few lines and splotches of color in this woodcut. But when you look at it, you can see a galloping horse and rider, right? What do you see? So what do you think? Is this stuff crazy or is it crazy good? Looking at art and thinking about it is fun. There's no right or wrong way to do it. Museums are good places to find art. You can find art in other places too. One such place to look at is in books. The horses shown below and to the right are from books illustrated by a man who never studied drawings. His name was Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss didn't ride horses but he looked at them carefully and saw something in them. Can you guess what that was? So look at that horse once again. A horse is many, many, many things, all depending on what you see. All right, friends, I want you to close your eyes and imagine a horse. What does it look like? Is it red? Is it brown? Does it have stripes? Maybe polka dots? It's completely up to you and your imagination. When some people see a horse, they might see this, but what do you see? I want you to create your own horse. And if you choose to share it with us, 
have an adult help and you can tag the Glacier Children's Museum on social media. We cannot wait to see what you created. So happy drawing, painting, or sculpting. Until next time, bye-bye.